This has been long overdue. In fact, over a year long overdue, I screwed up. I am nowhere near the best Diablo 2 Resurrected player, nor am I one of the better known Diablo 2 Resurrected channels on YouTube. And I've made a lot of mistakes when it comes to my videos. So I wanted to use this one to be able to correct some of those mistakes per the comments that you guys leave with constructive criticism in the comment sections of my videos. And I wanted to highlight some of the ones that I found early on to be able to see how the differences would be from how I presented them in the videos to how you guys suggested to be able to change them to make them even better. So this video's comment shout out goes to all of you guys that have left me constructive criticism to be able to better my builds, to better the videos, to better the content for you guys to be able to enjoy here on YouTube. With all that said, let's jump right in and see what we can start fixing. For the first video to fix, we are looking at my Energy Shield Nova Sorceress using Metal Grid Build Guide. The first comment comes from Kevin Mishker, who asked how this would work without using Metal Grid to be immortal. The next two comments hopefully answer that question. The next commenter is MK, stating to use a Phoenix Monarch, combined with Enigma and Silkweeze to become immortal, and to still be able to do considerable damage. Then clarified why using a Phoenix Monarch for the Redemption Aura. Next, from Herder, saying to self wield infinity in his sight to be able to give the mercenary insight. And that should make the sorceress immortal. I asked for clarification on the remaining gear that they were using to be able to hit the 105 FCR breakpoint, and they said they were using Griffins, a 210 Amulet, Skin of the Viper Magi, Arachnid's Mesh, and Mage Fists. Learn something new every day. Who actually needs this? Nope. No! No! The next video to fix is my Cal running Javazon build guide. Steven Dibble wrote a comment saying to use Delirium on the Mercenary and to use Phoenix instead of Spirit for the Redemption Aura. I like it. Thank you for the suggestion. Now, we're going to move on to the Travancore Goldfine Barbarian build guide. I'm going to combine both of these comments into the build to be able to show in the gameplay. The first is from Steven Bibble, saying that I should use a Shield F3 for Stoll, an upped ummed Guardian's Angel. I'm going to try Chanel's idea, and I apologize if I butchered saying your name, who suggests using a Crown of Thieves with a Lemrune, and also to put the points from Fight Item into Fine Potion, as it does more for increasing Fight Item as a synergy, than the hard points into the Fight Item skill itself. Moving on to the 1650% Magic Find build guide, all of these comments center around one thing, and it was mentioned in the last comment. Put points into Find Potion instead of Find Item, with Frankenstein clarifying that it was changed in one of the pirate patches after the video went live. To clarify, this video was very late to going live on the channel. I'm continuing to try to work on getting more than one video a week out if I can, but in the meantime, I'm trying to maintain at least one video a week, and this video was beyond late to being uploaded from when it was initially recorded. Very late. 
As of the time, I was focusing all my attention on the one item summon Necromancer going through the Ubers video, and by the time I finally wrapped up that video, I hadn't caught up with all the new changes that had come out with the patches at the time. But I do appreciate the clarification. Now, for the video that seemed to get the most criticism, and for good reason, the endgame Poison Nova Necro build guide. Krilski92 asked that this was a budget build, and Marta Machine backing him up saying that my gear sucked, as well as claimed that my Enigma base was completely trash. All the rest of the comments focus on the same ideas, using Death's Web and Bramble to up the poison damage, and I'll go further and use the three-piece train set to be able to get more poison damage. Brutus Maximus also mentioned that the physical damage from the summons, such as the skeletons and revives, interrupts the poison damage from the poison nova. When I saw this comment and did a few extra runs, I went and completely re-recorded all the audio, as well as refilmed all the gameplay for the budgeted version of this build, as I wanted to be able to correct my mistake where I could, as I couldn't fix the endgame version in the YouTube studio, but could try to do right by the budgeted version before it would go live. The last video to fix for this video was my testing of the dual mosaic room words in patch 2.6. Rick mentioned that he dislikes people using Infinity in videos demonstrating build guides, as Infinity is not something that many people would be able to afford or even be able to roll at all during a ladder reset. My response to him was, I make generalized videos that can be adapted for online and offline play. And you're right, a lot of people won't be able to get Infinity, but there's more people using Infinity, even self-wielding, than those playing as a martial arts in. I could have used the Lightning Sunder Charm, I prefer not to use them unless it would be absolutely necessary for the build, as I'm not a huge fan of them. So I use what the majority of the player base knows, and quite a lot at one point or another have used before, Infinity. I feel the same about Enigma, as it alone changed so much about the game, but I also understand why so many people love to use it. Even I use it, as I don't have a lot of time to be able to play, so I want to max out the effort of my time that I do have to play. Hopefully you have a lot of fun with Ladder Restart, stay safe and take care. I completely understand the criticism, and if I was an online player who wanted to get a more reasonable sense of how a build would be played, and all I saw was OP builds that seemed to take years to farm to be able to make, and with ladder seemingly being nowhere near as long before a new one starts, on top of being an adult who has a life outside of this game to be active in, meaning very little time to be able to play, I too would be annoyed. However, to be fair, here's how the build plays without infinity and a center charm. I'm player's 8 since I got my charges built up. This last comment really isn't criticizing anything D2R related in a video, but it comes from Dredswitch, who watched my video going over the lightning and fire damage from traps before and after patch 2.6 launched, as the dev stated that the assassin traps would now benefit from negative resistance gear. He said he was going to subscribe until he saw the outro. Noped out of there. They didn't really clarify why, but I'll have to assume it's from the Jurassic Park clip. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Come on, man. There you are. The clip isn't meant to shame or guilt anyone into subscribing. This channel isn't a charity case by any means necessary. I mean, I'm not DSP. Guys, let me get one new member tonight. Just one. That's all I ask. Here you go. We literally got no new members today and an amazing day of streaming. Give me one member and I'll be happy for tonight. I'm upset that we got no members today. I know we could do better than that. But in seeing familiar commenters in video after video, as well as seeing some videos get attention with comments saying that they look forward to future content, for those who make it that far into the video, generally meaning the last 30 seconds or so of the video, as well as watch many of my videos and enjoy the content, that Jurassic Park clip just playfully suggests to subscribe with the tone of, I know you want to, go on, do it, hit the button, rather than it being a shame tactic that again, I can only assume that they felt it to be ass. I honestly don't expect this channel to become huge. I make videos for fun, and for those who enjoy the content and want to see more, the easy solution is to subscribe. And that's all I'm suggesting with that clip. But trying to do so in a funny manner, at least what I thought would be funny. And that's gonna wrap it up for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed and were able to laugh at my mistakes to be able to see, unfortunately, how uneducated I was at the time when I was making the videos and unfortunately forgot some of the things that I needed to be able to show you guys when it comes to the build guides or any other videos that I have on this channel. I always wanna to try to do my best to be able to bring you guys the content that you deserve to not only have it be of good quality when it comes to the visuals that you would see on screen, but to get the information that you need to be able to have the best build that you can get when it comes to whatever topic that I'm talking about, whether it's end game focused, budget focused, or anything else that I am trying to show you guys. I always wanna to try to do better to be able to make my channel the best that it can be so you guys have a reason to be able to come back and hopefully subscribe for future content. And if anything else, if you can't really laugh at yourself, 
it's not gonna be easy to be a content creator. And I have no problem receiving constructive criticism. I always wanna be able to hear what you guys think to be able to do better for the next video, which then overall helps the channel and makes it to where it's a lot better for you guys in the long run. So again, thank you guys for leaving constructive criticism on my videos. It is very much appreciated and it is something that I don't take very lightly. I really do take it seriously. I wanna do better for you guys in the future. If you like this kind of content, want to see more, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell notification to be notified whenever a new video comes out. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Come on, man. There you are. There you are. And if you enjoyed this video and had fun laughing with me, not just at me, make sure to leave a like on the video. Other than that, I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay safe and take care.